Good day everyone and welcome to Knowledge is Power. Today, we're going to talk about the new variant of COVID, which is Omicron. Recently, the pandemic has rebounded sharply, and this rebound is closely related to the new variant virus, Omicron. So, the American City News Network invited a specialist to analyze the Omicron virus for readers like us and help everyone better cope with the pandemic. Some common questions are being answered like number one, what are the main clinical symptoms of this Omicron? Mainly, it includes sore throat, dry cough with less phlegm, chills, and fever. There is also headache, nasal congestion, night sweat, fatigue, and lethargy. The sore throat can be severe that the patients sometimes describe that they never have experienced much pain like this in their entire life. Another question is, what if I have the above symptom? but self-antigen test is negative. If you have the above symptom, the probability of Omicron is really very high. So you can test again for two to three days or you go to the laboratory for a PCR test. How long did the above clinical symptoms last? It is longer than we originally thought. We thought it would last for three to five days only, but now we think it will last for two weeks, but the degree will be lessened. Another question is, I have received more than two do doses of new COVID-19 vaccines already, or have previously had a new COVID infection, like another variant more than the Omicron. Will I get Omicron again? That is the question. And the answer is yes. The neutralizing ability of Omicron by antibodies produced by previous vaccines or diseases is significantly reduced, which we call immune scape. Next common question is, why is Omicron's symptoms relatively mild? There are two main reasons. Number one, although the neutralizing ability of Omicron by the antibodies produced by the previous vaccine or disease is significantly weakened, the T-cell immune function produced by the vaccine or disease can still play a, play a role. Now, number two, the pathogenicity of Omicron itself is weak. Question. Will I still be infected by the previous Delta variant after getting Omicron? The answer, generally not. The antibody produced after getting Omicron also has the preventive effect on Delta variant infection. Next question, if I have recently contracted a new COVID infection, do I still need a third booster shot? The answer, because more than 95% of the new diagnosed new COVID infection are Omicron infections, after infection with Omicron, you can not only generate immunity against Omicron, but also generate immunity against the previous Delta. So you do not need a booster shot for the time being. Now, what should I do if I am diagnosed with a new virus? Okay, number one, self-isolation. Number two, symptomatic treatment. Let's say, for example, you have a sore throat. Try to gurgle with salt and water. Drink more warm honey lemonade. You use lozenges because there is a small amount of anesthetic and it to relieve the pain. It also soothes the throat a bit. No, If it is very serious, then you can ask your doctor. You can uh, do telemedicine for consultation for a proper medication and treatment. Now, if you have fever, you can, or headache, or joint pain, you can use your paracetamol. Anti-allergenic drugs can also be used if you have nasal congestions. And if you can't sleep uh, due to the sore throat at night, then you can use sedative or sleeping pills appropriately or if it is being prescribed by your doctor. If you have cough, you can use a cough medicine. And you have to ensure, of course, an adequate nutrition and sleep. 
self-monitoring of blood oxygen concentration if it is less than 95 then you go to the hospital immediately now if you belong to a high-risk group you can use monoclonal antibodies or oral antiviral drugs of course as prescribed by the physician the new antiviral drug as of the as of this time is we have Paxlovid it worked very well 607 patients in the experimental group started taking the drug within five days on onset and no one died it was originally planned to do a clinical trial of 3,000 people but the result was too good to do a trial of 1,219 people and stop already now the next question is how long should I self-isolate after getting sick so we have the CDC guidelines say to self-isolate for five days, then wear a mask for five days. But now we they find out that many patients still have positive antigen PCR test during the fifth day. So they decided or suggest that you should wear or self-isolate for eight to ten days. And if you have no fever for at least twenty-four hours, then wear a mask for five days. question is is there anything to prevent omicron infection the answer is no but there are some things that can reduce chances of getting sick such as number one minimizing a chance of contact with people having fewer gatherings and meals outside of course paying attention to personal hygiene it's really very important wearing mask washing hands frequently and maintaining social distance in addition to this some health products may also reduce the chance of getting sick such as vitamin c and zinc and vitamin d finally good sleep habits are also very important studies have shown that adequate sleep at sleep time before 12 o'clock in the middle of the night are directly proportional to the body's immunity thank you for having you until the end of my lecture i hope that you learned something because knowledge is power <laughs>